guys, it's Viv and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am here with Paisley and Melody and we are so excited because um, even though we have done a few beginner projects in the past, this episode of, um, I guess this video on our channel today is going to be the first episode of our Sew Together series. Sew Together is my new series that I wanted to create for you guys because I know that a lot of people on my AGIG and also in my comment section have been saying like, you know, I'm new to sewing or I haven't, like, I'm not really familiar with sewing for my American Girl dolls or sewing in general. So I decided to create this series which is all for beginners, which is um, going to be a whole bunch of beginner friendly projects and my tips and tricks on how to make doll clothes so that we can all sew together. So like you probably saw, this video is going to focus on how to make these adorable little skirts for American Girl doll. These are super beginner friendly. I have done a tutorial on this in the past, but I just decided that I would revamp it so that um, it's easier to follow. So you can make the skirt on the right that Melody is wearing with the slit, or you can just make a regular skirt like how Paisley is wearing. Both of them are super simple and easy to do. And also, if you are interested, in the description box down below, um, there is a link to my website slash blog. And on my website, I have a new online um, free resource for you guys, which which is my beginner's guide to sewing. So I just have like like this online guide. It has a bunch of like patterns listed, places to buy patterns, free patterns linked, um, like shops that I like to go to to get my fabric and stuff, and a bunch of um, a bunch <laughs> a bunch of tips and tricks on how I make my doll clothing and also where um, you know like the little things I like to do. And also there is a little um, like guide for you to tell you what fabric is best for which project. So that is free and it will be linked in the description box down below eventually I will make a video kind of going over all the things in it but I just want to keep this video um, today super quick and simple so that I can show you guys how to make these skirts so if you're interested in knowing how to make these said skirts for your American girl doll just go ahead and keep on watching so the first thing that you want to do for your skirt is to pick out a nice fabric that is going to work for it any fabric will do but for me I'm going to use a cotton broadcloth I recommend a non stretch fabric um, just for this project I find it works a little bit better but you can use a stretch fabric if you want. Now taking your fabric, you are going to measure out a rectangle that is 13 inches by, I would say at the minimum width should be around 6 inches, but you can increase this measurement if you want your skirt to be longer. Just keep in mind that you need to add allowance for a hem and also a casing that will fit your elastic. When keeping in mind the math for your casing, the width of the casing should be double the width of the elastic. So for example, if you are using a quarter inch elastic like I am, then you should leave at least half an inch um, for the casing. So here I am just making sure that the rectangle is trimmed evenly so that it is nice and straight. And I also recommend that you iron your fabric before you cut it just so that um, this process is a little bit easier. So now I accidentally skipped this step and I didn't do it before the other steps, but you want to do this now. So go ahead and just do a zigzag stitch around all edges of the rectangle of fabric. So you can either use a zigzag stitch, which is the number four stitch on my machine, or you can use a number six or a number seven, which are overlocking stitches. These might be different on your machine, but that's what they are on my machine. And then you just want to go around the edges. And if you look closely, you'll notice that my needle is going off the fabric on one side and into the fabric on the other side. This ensures that all the raw edges are sealed. When you get to the corners of the rectangle, stop sewing, making sure the needle is still in the fabric, lift up the presser foot, and rotate the fabric so that you can sew it again. So take your fabric and flip it over to the wrong side, which so the good side should be facing down, and take a ruler and mark little half inch um, marks up from the top and bottom edges of the rectangle. So the bottom markings you can leave at half an inch, but if you are using a different size elastic, so like I mentioned I'm using quarter inch elastic, say if you were using half inch elastic you would have to make um, the markings at the top a little bit bigger. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bottom of my fabric, so the bottom part of the rectangle, and I'm going to fold the fabric so that it meets the line, and then I'm going to iron it in place. Then on the top of the fabric, to create the casing, I'm going to fold the fabric over the line, like over at the line, and iron it down so that um, I know where to sew later. 
I hope that was clear. Um, and then you're gonna sew it in place using a straight stitch. Oh, and just to clarify, that is only the bottom hem. You don't wanna sew the casing in place just yet. Now grab your fabric and flip it back over to the good side so you can see your nice clean hem is all done, but the top edge should still be unfinished. So what you're gonna do now is take that and fold it in half so that the short sides, so the raw edges on the short side are matched up. Now, because I want a slit in my skirt, I'm going to mark a little um, line on my seam allowance that is about half an inch up from, no, actually I would say it's about one inch up from the bottom of my skirt. And then I'm going to use pins to secure the back seam that I have to sew. And you'll notice that I am placing one like where I made that little mark for the slit, but then I'm not pinning past that. If you don't want to slit in your skirt, you can just go ahead and pin the whole thing up and then sew um, from the top of the skirt down to the bottom of the skirt. But if you do have a slit, then you want to sew from the top of the skirt and then stop at where you marked where the slit is going to go. For either of these seams, use a quarter inch seam allowance and a straight stitch. So here I am sewing up the back seam of my skirt and one thing that um, you don't want to do is sew over your pins. So if you sew up your pins, it might bend them or it might snap the pins, so just make sure you don't do that. So here is what my finished seam looks like. You can see I stopped where I want my slit to begin. And then what I'm going to do is take my iron and I am going to iron the seam allowance flat on the good or the inside of the fabric, so on the wrong side. You can see that what I'm doing here is I'm just flattening the seam allowance and making sure it is nice and flat with my iron. And then that's what it looks like from the front side. And then I'm going to top stitch um, both sides down. Now again, this is optional. If you don't want to slit in your skirt, you can skip all these steps. However, I do recommend that you iron your seam allowance flat just so that when we create the casing for the elastic um, later on in the tutorial, then it goes a little bit smoother. To ensure my top stitches are even, I line the seam up with um, the sides of my presser foot and I just follow those to make sure my lines are nice and straight. So now once you have everything sewn up, it is time to create the casing. So the folded part of the fabric that we ironed down earlier should give you a guide as to where to fold down the fabric but just um fold down the fabric on the wrong side of the fat or the wrong side of the skirt at the markings that you created and then mark a little one inch um slit on either side of any part of the skirt and then sew all the way around starting from one side of that slit to the other side so what you're going to do is you're going to sew all the way around leaving a gap so that we can insert the elastic now cut a piece of elastic that is nine and three quarters inches long and then put it onto a safety pin or you could also use a bodkin if you have one. Um, I find that sometimes my bodkin gets stuck so I didn't use it this time and then what you're going to do is use that safety pin to feed the elastic through the casing. Now a problem that you might run into and this is a problem that I often run into is that when you reach a seam like this the safety pin might get stuck and you might not be able to go through the casing completely. So what you want to do is just take your seam ripper and um, undo the stitching there to release like a little gap in the casing and then just continue to thread the elastic through the skirt and then um, you can seal it up once you're done. So once you have both pieces of elastic sticking out the ends of the skirt, or not the ends of the skirt, like where you left that gap, um, you want to take them off of their safety pins and off their pins and whatever, like you see I am doing here, and then give them a pull so that they are nice and out of the skirt so you can manage them a little bit better. And then making sure none of the elastic is twisted, you want to overlap them um, over each other, <laughs> like I'm doing here in the tutorial, and then you want to sew these in place using a zigzag stitch. To make sure that your elastic does not come apart and is nice and secure, when you're sewing, be sure you just backstitch over the elastic a couple of times so that it stays in place. Now take your skirt and just tug at it so that the elastic goes back inside of the casing and is nice and smooth, and then use your sewing machine, or you could even use a needle and thread if you find it's a little bit easier to manage on these stretchy seams, to seal up any holes that you might have in your casing. So for me, that's the one that I left to insert the elastic and also the one at the seam that I made. Then flip your skirt right sides out and be sure to trim any loose threads that are still on the skirt. Give it one final iron just to make sure everything is nice and crisp and smooth. And then you are done! 
So I've used this method to make a whole bunch of different skirts that I've shown in different videos, which I will link in the description box down below if you're curious to see how I did them in other videos. But just a side-by-side -side comparison, the skirt that I'm holding right now, the Houndstooth one, is one that I made without a slit, and then the pink one that we just made together is the one that I made with the slit. Anyways guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and other American Girl doll videos such as sewing tutorials, outfit videos, hairstyle videos, and more. And if you decide to recreate these skirts, um, be sure you tag me in a picture on Instagram. I love to see all your recreations. I've been getting a bunch of pictures being sent to me about um, you guys following my other tutorials. I just love seeing them. They make my day. And then I always repost them on my Instagram story. And I add them to my highlight. So if you want to be a part of my Instagram story and my highlight, um, then I would really love to see um, your recreations of my tutorial. All you have to do is tag me on Instagram at Dolly Delights, just like how my YouTube channel is spelled with the underscore, of course. And yeah, again, that is all I have to say for uh, that's all I have to say for today's video. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you next time for another one. Bye.